Hello, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a proper clipping path around type in body copy. Now this is in Adobe InDesign. I've also got this heading as well, which is behind the boat mast itself. So here I'm going to show you how to do some layering, do a few other odds and sods. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to prepare this boat image. Let's pop into Photoshop. So here I've got my image. It's a JPEG image. Um, I took this photo myself. Um, so what we do first of all is we go into the Paths palette. Now if you don't see that palette, it is in the window. And then Paths, you open that up. And you go over to create a new path. So it's this button over here. Then you go over to the Pen tool. And it is this tool over here, the Pen tool. Okay, so the object of this is if you zoom in and you go back to the zoom, zoom um, to the path tool and what you need to do is you need to trace around whatever object you want to trace around, okay? So you do this nice and nice and properly. Okay, now if you have things such as hair, for example, or what have you, um, what I would recommend you to do is um, use a different method, um, but this here is a basic object. Okay, we can come back to this negative space later on. Okay. And I'm just going to put this in very quickly. Um, I could do a better job at it, but hey, I'm doing a tutorial right now. Okay. Obviously, you'll see some background coming through on this. Bring in this aerial as well. Just so there's a little bit more detail for you. We're nearly there. I'm going to do a bit of a quick job at selecting that. And quick job selecting this as well. And the mast. <laughs> Remember to um, to you know do this properly with the path tool. You can click and drag, click and drag, yeah, to make things all nice and um, circular or curved. Right. The more time you spend at doing this properly, um, the more believable this will be. Okay, more professional little look. Okay, almost there, into the handrail. And then we'll leave it at that pretty quickly. Alright, almost there. Okay, so uh, one way to get rid of um, this boat in the back is that we draw another box in here to get rid of that boat. And you always close it up at the end, so you need to finish it off at the end. Okay, so that's all done. Um, what we can do now is we go over to the path dialog box again. We go over to the hamburger tool hamburger icon and we go over to clipping path so click on that so our path one is selected this is path one and the flatness is going to be three click on three devices device pixels click on ok um, we also now need to convert this mode over to from rgb over to cmyk so we do that and we now go over to file and we save as and we're going to save this as um, this file here, shoot, not JPEG file, but we're going to select the format as being a Photoshop EPS file. So an EPS file, what it does, it saves the clipping path that we cre that we created into the file. It sort of bakes it in, okay? So let's click on save. And I'm going to replace because I've already um, done this for the example. We'll just show you. Um, preview, have it as 8 bits pixel. It's all good. Um, one bit is for um, computers that are less powerful. Click on OK. So let's go back into InDesign and we'll create this from scratch. So we go over to File, New, Document. 
wait for light to load. And I'm just going to click on one of my recents, which is an A4 um, size. Um, you can click on print and dial, type, type it in yourself. Um, units, you set this to millimeters. So now I've got the width of 210 millimeters and the height is 297. Pages, I want three pages. Facing pages, yes. The gutter, I like to bring the column gutter up to um, seven. And I'm going to, oops, seven. I'm going to go to columns as being six columns. Um, bleed, obviously you have the bleed as being minimum of three millimeters. For publication, it's quite often it's five mil. Okay, let's click on create. All right, so we have our page one here. I'm just gonna go down to page two and three. And we start off by creating a text box and we draw right across the whole DPS with that text box. Let's go to type. We go to fill with placeholder text. Okay. And then what we can do is we can resize this box down to one page and we bring this down to about halfway where it says halfway. All good. Okay, and then we're going to right click on this and we go to text frame options to create the columns. So the gutter, remember, was seven millimeters gutter and we had the number of um, columns, columns as being three. Everything else is looking good. Let's click on OK. All right, so um, I'm going to spill the text over here. So I'm going to create a new text box and I'm going to start my type over here, for example. I'm going to resize this text box down so that it's at the same height as all this other stuff here. So this one here is over is um, overflowing. So you can see here on this um, pink plus, if I click there on the pink plus, and then I press in this section here, I can get my flow on text. Right click on this, go to text frame options, do the same thing as before. This time it's two columns because it's... Um, I've got the um, that sort of um, grid thing happening there. Seven mil gutter. Click on OK. I'm just going to resize this so it is in line with the other columns there. So that's that layout so far. Um, we also need to bring in another bit of type, which is called um, the fishing boat. So I'm going to have a nice big type typeface there. Um, fishing boat. That's going to be our heading over there. All right. So it's taking shape. Let's now bring the image in. We go to file. We go to place and we go over to our EPS file, this one over here. And that's our boat there. Don't click on open just yet. We need to show import options. So make sure you have that selected and click on open. Here I need to apply Photoshop um, clipping pass. So make sure that this here is selected. That is the key to this. And we click on OK. Here, you can bring the boat in. So I'm going to bring my boat in now. And set up in, so it's about there somewhere, okay? All right. So now to make this boat wrap around, so in fact, to make the text wrap around this boat, what we can do is we can go over to this um, box over here. So wrap around bounding box. So check this out. Okay. And there's also another one which is wrap around object shape. So there's two options you can use there. Uh, for this purpose, I'm going to be using this one over here because it's the most dramatic. Okay, so I've got this over here. Now, one problem is that the boat is right up against this type. So if I go over to that icon again and I press option and then click, it brings up the dialog box options for this image. So I want to offset the type from this image and I can click here to increase the distance away from the image that text is going to be wrapping around. Okay, so I can have it as even like six mil. Depends on your image, depends on your design. Okay, so that's my kids making a lot of noise in the background. We are online learning at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to now change this um, fishing boat heading. So um, I'm going to go to paragraph styles and click on new. And I'm going to double click on this so that I get the options up. I'm going to call this one here title. Title. 
okay and I'm going to change the color over later on um, let's bring the font size up a bit now I'm just using Merid Pro at the moment just as a default sort of thing you can choose a, choose a better typeface than I am at the moment this is just a proof of concept make this a little bit smaller and I'm going to reduce the leading down so it's like that maybe bring it right in a bit more all right so check this out this looks like it's fine at the moment but if I bring this fishing boat text in you see that this heading is wrapping around the boat so what I need to do is I need to right click I go to text frame options and I need to go over here click on ignore text wrap click on OK and if I want to bring this boat in front of this text I press command shift um, close curly bracket or I go and press command shift open curly bracket so that the text is in um, is in front of the boat I'm going to bring the boat in front of everything else so I've got a little bit more depth going on there um, I can change the text color over um, I can triple click on this and I can use the color pick tool if I wanted to and I can change the color over um, this is an RGB proxy image, so it's not going to be working out too well. Um, let's change this over. Let's go to color and make sure that it is set as CMYK. And I can adjust this color over so it's a proper nice bright color in there. Get rid of some of that cyan. And there we have it. That is now our finished concept there. So let's go to view and we can view, um, where is view? We can go over to screen mode and we can do the preview there. Okay, so that's just how that is going to look. That'll be all. Thank you.